Today went back and forth. Uh, the offense got off to a pretty fast start today. Um, went on 10 play drive. It was awesome to see them operate and push uh, different tempos up and down the field. Um, different players executing the ball, getting to different players, running the ball, throwing the ball. Uh, so they had a really good plan coming out today. It was good to see, you know, really the blue and the orange uh, offense, the ones and the twos coming out the way they did. It was great to see how the defense responded. They came back, they locked it in. Um, and that's what I mean by it went both ways. Both sides of the ball did some really good things today, um, which is obviously we've got to get in the film room as coaches and then hop in with the players and identify what are the things we're doing well? How can we continue to do those even better? What are the things that we aren't doing well that we want to continue to do? And analyze how are we going to teach and improve those things starting in the meeting rooms, obviously taking it to our individual sessions, group sessions, and so on before we get to team. But Overall, throughout, uh, you know, through the first scrimmage here, the urgency the players are operating with is, is awesome. Um, the leadership groups, uh, the, the vibe they're bringing every day, the standard they're holding the whole team to uh, has been awesome. And that's going to allow us to compete a certain way every day at practice. Uh, the competition at the line of scrimmage has been extremely physical. Um, iron sharpens iron. We've got to continue to build on our fundamentals and techniques. We're playing with a great mentality up front. We ran the ball, you know, pretty well today. Um, there were a couple players that were up in the, you know, 4.5, 5 yards average today, so it was good to see. Um, it's good to see some of the backs step up and, and get some really good work, you know, outside of George and, and see Ashton, see T. Crow, see uh, Elion do his deal and get in there. Um, to see Caden get in there and carry the rock. All those guys had some great runs today, so that was obviously exciting to see. Uh, there were uh, five players on, on offense that at least had two catches, so the quarterback spreading the ball around and, uh, and doing a good job staying on time with that operation. You know, the whole line collectively working together, the quarterbacks being able to operate and, and get us in certain situations that we want that are favorable for us. Um, and I think the, the running back's doing a tremendous job understanding, you know, what the old line is working to get done in front of them and, and being able to uh, attack the line of scrimmage and, and make vertical cuts and, and get up the field. Bolt made some plays today as well. The ball is really getting spread around. You know, from the standpoint, too, we had some tight ends making some big time grabs. Uh, Ty Neal showed up today on, in some critical situations on some third downs, uh, you know, and, and so. Or Riley Smith is, is, you know, it's exciting to see him working his way back in and not only working in, but he had an unbelievable catch the other day at practice, a big one-handed grab, you know, where he high-pointed the ball. So the ball is getting spread around. A few backs caught the ball out of the backfield as well today. You know, that he will put his foot in the ground and he will get vertical with the rock in his hands. And, and that's, you know, that's all we're asking these guys is to be decisive and hit that line of scrimmage and, you know, uh, Again, to be able to come in here and build some depth into that room and compete the way he has on um, given the time frame has been really good. They all they all did uh, some good things. They all did some good things. Um, you know, the nature of the beast, uh, uh, again, they spreaded the ball around. The most important thing that they did today is they stayed on time and they got that ball out because the defense has been bringing um, good pressure, whether it's, you know, four, whatever it is, five, three, whatever that is. Um, the defense has been getting great pressure. And so it, being able to operate and stay on time through the progressions as we spoke about, trusting and knowing that there's guys all over the field that um, you know, are playmakers and getting the ball in their hands so that they can, you know, they can uh, do something with it. But uh, Hank did a nice job today. Um, again, the first drive came out, went right down the field, um, 10 plays, 10 plays, 75 yards. So that's an unbelievable way to start, obviously, against the defense. And uh, um, we just got to keep building off of that. How do we repeat that over and over? What can we learn from even on that drive? What can we do better? The drives after that were, you know, maybe a drive stalled out. How can Hank see the situation? How can he operate better the next time he is in that situation? Um, the TG ran around today, did some things, uh, throwing the ball. Um, Sam, Sam and TG split the two reps today, and they're both right there. I mean, they're both doing really good things, but you know, this next week we got to make a huge jump with those guys and their consistency of their decision making, obviously uh, late in the snap.